gang. What it do? SYG Rooster 10 here, Birdman Jr. And in today's video, I present to you Baby Skeeter. This is that uh, gun that's been asked about quite often. This is that Saima MP5. This is my Mule Spit gun. No sim, no spin. This is a nostalgic gun. Uh, my era folks, people, kids, anyone that's really been into like military guns, even games, should know about this gun. This is like an everyday SWAT use. If you ever watched the show or movie SWAT with LL Cool J, they use uh, <laughs> they use these bitches. It's just this thing with a small compact weapon with me. It's just the type of player and person that I am, I just think making the most use of how you say your tools would be the better benefactor at the end. Uh, this is over a K, at least. I had to toss the piggy bank across the room. The gun by itself is discontinued. The only way you can get this specific model is uh, if you get the Swordfish one, because I know the Swordfish model comes with the base model as a Simon MP5, but it doesn't come with like all this uh, foregrip, the retractable stock, it doesn't come with any of that. It doesn't come with the rear sight, the rail, not even the front sight. Oh, I've robbed banks with those. <laughs> uh, this has quite a lot of bodies. The last time I've used this actually was when I was at, what's that fucking field up on my house? Warped Ops. We were playing um, a capture the flag game. And I was fucking sniping fools with this from on top of this like branch on top of this tree that I was like standing on. I was like, pew, 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 pew. and then I did the reload. I was like, pew, 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 pew. and then I did the HK stuff. Like a... Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, so if I wanted to play around, you know, hang out with friends, fucking, you know, slap dick, drink a few beers outdoors, I'll probably run something most and put more gear on just to look cool. Because isn't that what people do it for? You buy all that expensive gear to look up, right? And you have no idea what you're doing. But uh, whenever you use these types of weapons, this is for like, it's used and it was built to show off to guys. Because every time I pull up anywhere and I pull this out, dude, they're like pedophiles. They want to grab <laughs> and touch. You know, you pull something like this out and they're like, oh, shh. <laughs> and then you're like, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> these are the wall hangers, you know? You pull this out every once in a while, you know, just to undust it. You know, remember what it feels like, you know, do that whole reminiscing of being a SWAT member, coming down the ceiling on a road, kicking in doors. Whenever I have this in my hand, it just, it takes me back. So what do you guys think the next model or, you know, SMG build that company should come out with? Leave it in the comments below. Peace. <laughs> You can think of Airsoft like your favorite first person shooter come to life. Right there, right there, right there. Oh. Behind the... Boy, get the off of me! It's that nostalgia of being a kid and picking up your first video game or that Chuck E. Cheese playing your first arcade game. Same scenarios, same survival instinct, and you have to adapt and react. Ooh. Oh, hey, hello, surprise. You have a headset on. You're locked in. Man, MP7 oh, got so enough cool. bullets for all of y'all. In the game, and you got teammates that are yapping at you. You have to communicate and you have to learn to adapt and learn to work together. I have to, you know, apply physical skill sets and think on the fly, how am I gonna survive this? You know, they're shooting back at me. Like, what am I gonna do? You can literally just set your own player up, just like a video game. You know, your own disguise, your own setup, just you being you. Airsoft is, is a real life escape where I can kind of just get away from the world and... What other place is there but the airsoft field? <laughs> 